Yo, this your boy Double Up, and I'm back with another banger. But before we start this video, I need you to like, comment, subscribe. You know, leave your thoughts in the down below, man. Let me know how you feeling, man, about the situation I'm about to speak on. But anyways, let's get into it. Okay, so I came here to talk about that boy Brick, baby, from No Jumper, and that boy Poetic Flacco. You know what I'm saying? They both uh, work at No Jumper. You know, Poetic Flacco is definitely the police. He already let you know. He going to call the police. You get what I'm saying? So I wouldn't do nothing. I say nothing around him. But that boy Poetic Flacco implicated that boy Brick baby in, in in a murder case, man. And he said this. Brother Lil Tim is responsible for the death of King Von. So people automatically assume that Quando Rondo and his best friend getting hit up was a hit called by Lil Durk. Lil Durk wasn't in LA at the time of Lil Pop's death, so the fan theory is Lil Durk solicited the help of a reputable LA gang member Brick Baby to take out Lil Pop and Quando Rondo. Fans will claim that Lil Durk would pay Brick Baby, who can be seen here, photograph for Lil Durk in LA a month before Lil Pop's murder. Fans will claim that Lil Durk would pay Brick Baby $100,000 for the hit. Yeah, that's wild, man. He don't even know if it's true. He's just up there implicating people in in crimes that he has no business even speaking on because, like, at the end of the day, he, I know he's making content, but, dude, you're a civilian. Like, sometimes it's best to keep your mouth shut and let it be what it's going to be because you don't even know what you're talking about. But after, after Flacco dropped this on his channel, man, that boy Brit Baby had this to hey, say. Cop that Flacco, cuz. What made your punk ass go post a video of me yeah, do current content of me and Quando Rondo on the dead homies with all that I got going on right now that you should be going through cuz nigga supposed to be my partner and running content on some on some murder shit. try to put it in the middle of, like come on gang like nigga, now we, listen run that content one more time nigga, kill squad gonna be in the streets on your ass you gonna be the first motherfucking example nigga, on hood I'm going to holler at you when I get back to L.A. too. Man, this some wild stuff, man. I'm saying, like, how you guys feel about Poetic Flacco going on his page and basically implicating Brick Baby into the uh, the uh, Lil Pab and Quando Rondo with the um, Lil Dirt situation. You get what I'm saying? Like, how y'all guys feel? Do you feel like Brick Baby has something to do with it? You know what I'm saying? But... Like, if he did have something to do with it, I hope he didn't have nothing to do with it because at the end of the day, the feds watching. The feds is always watching, man, especially on the TV and uh, YouTube and all that type of stuff. They just waiting. They itching to get some stuff. But that boy Poetic Flacco, <laughs> Flacco he, just, he just makes content out of everything. Like, everything is content to him. Like, he don't take nothing serious. Like, he don't understand, like, he can get people seriously hurt or he can get himself hurt. You get what I'm saying? But I want to know how you feel about this situation. You know what I'm saying? If you was in Brick Baby's shoes, would you feel the same way that Brick Baby feel? And he say he going to holler at Flacco. So we're going to see. He might put the paws on that boy. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he might get into it, which I ain't never heard of Brick Baby putting the paws on nobody except for in jail with the, when he was with Crip Mac. And they was on the No Jumper podcast, and they was talking about that. But, you know, see, sometimes you just got to close your mouth, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, at the end of the day, man, drop your comments below, man. If you like the content, man, subscribe. And I'm out.